Hi everyone, this is Sam here from Game Reactor and we're live from Iceland at Slush Play talking with Stefania from uh, CCP Games. Uh, Eve has been an uh, incredible community for t since 2003 when the game was released. How is Eve doing now as a universe? So, uh, for the last 13 years, Eve, the universe, has been a playground for both players and us, the developers, at CCP. So, uh, we have released more games inside the Eve universe. For example, uh, Dust 514 in 2013 came out on PlayStation and players in Dust are playing in real time on the same server as the EVE players and they're playing on planets that you find in the, in the EVE universe. Then uh, we move on to the to EVE Valkyrie. Round, the main character, uh, is uh, all her story plays out in the EVE universe and all your story as a player, you play inside the EVE universe in, in, in EVE Valkyrie. And then uh, we also placed Gontiak in, in the EVE universe. And Gontiak is this blue collar worker in the EVE universe. He's on a mining platform where he has to defend the wealth of his mining, uh, mining corporation. And there are enemy waves coming at him. And you can play Gontiak either on Gear VR or on Oculus or Vive. And Gontiak is also coming out on PlayStation VR. But you, you sit there, you're, you have this turret, and you have to defend against those enemies. Uh, you said that one of the most important bits of VR is to feel like you are that worker, in, especially in Gunjack. Um, how important is that feeling that you are the person in VR to specifically your games? Yeah, I, I think, so when we, started, when we started working on a game in VR, we realized that this is not something where you like, uh, something takes place in front of you, you're in the center of, of it. And that's the cool thing about VR. So the, the, one of the design criteria was that we have to give people the feeling of the presence. We wanted people to feel like they're the contact. We wanted them to have the excitement of oh, something is happening. That are like, what's going, to, what's going to come at me? Like, those, uh, like this excitement of going into the turret, having to defend. When he spoke to Ilgar, he said he'd be uh, hard-pressed to call Eve a game, that he'd call it a community, a religion, a culture. Um, how important is the Eve community and how much has it grown? And what is it like to see as a developer your community grow so much? Yeah, and, and it's right. The, the beautiful thing about Eve, it, it has, has uh, a rich community. with, uh, And, and it's, a, it's a thing we've always, always embraced a lot. It's the Eve community because Eve is, is the kind of game that you, you have so many social interactions and you have, have to partner up with people. And, and, and I think that's, that's one of the reasons why, why, Eve is, why Eve is still so popular all the time is because the, it's more to it than what we do. We are just making the, making the universe there and people are making things happen within the universe. So they create the stories in Eve, which are incredible all the time. And also, and, and it has somehow gotten, and it, we did the same with Dust. There is a rich, was a rich community around that Dust, and, and it has somehow gotten into our DNA at CCP that we are, we are here for the players. We, we, we create the universe and the players create the stories. So when we did Contact, we were doing something that we hadn't done before. It's a client game on mobile, it's VR, and we knew we, it was super important for us, we leveraged this this like listening to the players still even though it's not, it's not a community game where you where you form a community so we did a lot of play tests and we listened to the to this play test and to the feedback that people were giving and it was really important for us to test the game outside of our own team outside of ccp and we did and we tested it on fanfest you know did uh, analysis of all the feedback and we actually took that feedback and, and tweaked the game until it just felt right and what has the feedback been from the games? Has it been received positively by the EVE community? Yeah, at least uh, as far as I know. The, I, I think people are excited that the, this, is, this is happening in the EVE universe. People, people who play EVE, they, you know, they love the EVE universe and, and this is just adding something to it. Uh, you hinted at something called Project Arena. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about that and what that has, has in store for the future? Yeah, so Project Arena uh, is, a, is being built in Atlanta by a super clever team. And it's a full body VR where you play, you can play against each other, throwing discs at each other. Discs are either thrown directly or they can bounce off walls. 
And we took these projects actually to, to FunFest to, uh, or the, to, to test it. Got super good feedback on it and everyone just said, I want to I wanna play this game. And, and this is also something that we, that, that we value a lot. It's trying to get things in front of people, not always being like inside our own offices working on something. We want to get things in front of people as soon as possible. And then we know if does it make sense to build. And a Project Arena is one of those things. And it will, it's being built in Atlanta. And um, you, s you said that you were almost sort of a bit teary-eyed at some of the reviews that you know painted the, the immersion in a positive light. Uh, are the team at CCP Games still very passionate about Eve Online, and are still very? Is it a passion-driven process? Absolutely. And we, we are still operating Eve Online here in Reykjavik, and we are coming out with a with a big expansion later this year that everyone is super excited about. And everyone at CCP is, is, is still very passionate about, about EVE. And we are still passionate about keep EVE going forever. So. Thank you very much. Thank you.